I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Janis Kudla. I'm Jesper De Jong. I'm Henry Laksan. I am Francisco Segundolo. And you are listening to the Game to Love podcast. Hey, welcome back, tennis fans. It's draw preview time. And this time we're starting with the women's. We're going to go on to the men's in the next video. This one is Ostrava. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to get the name of the other one right, to be honest, because uh, it's called the Jasmine Open. But I think it's the Monastir Open and it is in Tunisia. I believe it's the first time they've ever played there. But we've got some stacked uh, tournament in Ostrava uh, in the Czech Republic. I'm quite excited because Iga Sviontek is going back on the tennis courts, JG. Yeah, and I'm more excited for the British sensation, Emma Raducanu, back in action as well. US Open champion. Not looking great. There's been a lot of injuries. Um, semi final. Listen, she needs to do something this time. <laughs> she needs to impress. I'm sick of watching her go out early. So I'm going to be interested to see how she gets on. Iga, of course, will be favourite going into it. But you never know. There's always a Hadid Maya around the corner. Ooh. Yeah, there I don't is know if she's in this draw either, but I'm yeah, I think she is. <laughs> That's she's, a good shot. She's always playing and she's just she super dangerous. Yeah. And we do have, obviously, uh, I believe Maria Sakri is in there. Yep. We've got uh, Paula Badoza. So there is quite a few good players in this one. And um, Emma Raducanu, not to throw any spoilers out there, she has a very tough first round matchup. And we will get into that. Um, let's have a look at some of the past winners of this event first, as we normally do. And it was last year Annette Contevi, uh, who just lost in a final earlier on today to Barbara Krajcikova, who's finally got back to winning ways again um, after that. Well, last year she won three tournaments. This year she hadn't won any uh, up until today. So she did well to defeat Contevi in her backyard in Estonia. Sakri was last year's finalist. She's in this tournament. And as you can see, it's only been running for three years. So. Yeah, it's interesting right. because Kontovic certainly plays so much better the back end of the year. Last yeah. year, she was one of the best players. Um, and she's been in good form this last one. Like you said, she got to a final. Beat Kai Kanepi, and I saw some highlights of that one. Looked very good against Kanepi. Yeah. Among convincingly in straight sets. And Kanepi turned up. So that Did is a big, to win big result. That? Um, I forget who I had on my bracket, if I'm I totally I honest. Kinepi, I think. Well, you had Kanepi winning. That yeah. wasn't, wasn't a bad selection because she played very well, so I can't really dig you out for it. I think potentially <laughs> I might have had Hadid Maya. Uh, I know I, I think I had her in the final, at least, because I think she's a really good player. And yeah. Krachikova was able to defeat her. So Krachikova coming back to some form. Of course, she's still been playing great in the doubles, uh, but finally starting to do more on the singles again. Most definitely. Right. Do we have any qualifiers to watch out for on this Ostrava draw? Because it's going to be quite interesting to see because it is fairly stacked. Yeah. Uh, who do you want to be playing? Who you don't want to be playing in that first round? Well, leave it with me, Ben, because I've had a look at some of the qualifiers and they are class. I mean, there's some great players in this in this tournament. Yeah. The one I really want to single out is, of course, Aya Tomjanovic. She's oh, been amazing. brilliant in all of the slams. Every time we've spoke to, I know we spoke to, I think, Kubla and Alex de Manor at Wimbledon, and they always make sure that everyone includes Tomjanovic in the Australian success because in all of the slams this year, she's done better than she usually has done. And she's a bit of a big event player. And considering this is a relatively big event, maybe not yeah. necessarily with points, because I believe it's, what, 500? Um, uh, yeah, I believe so, yeah. But still, there's got there's top players like there's all the best players playing in there. So, I mean, it's going to be fascinating to see who she's going to be pitted up against. I know we've got a little sneak preview then. <laughs> Apologies, <Got laughs> Katy McNally who went through, and Eugene Bouchard, of course. She's also been gathering some good results. I forget what she did recently, but there was one there was one I wanted to talk about. Who was McNally? Final? No, uh, Bouchard. She got to a quarter final against Podoroska in, in India. But she beat someone quite, quite good. I forget who it was now. Yeah, she, she was playing. Final. She was playing quite well. She beat. Um, oh, who was it? No, she beat Tandy in in oh, India. It wasn't, maybe it wasn't anyone particularly great, but she just impressed me that 
she could do something. So one to watch. And of course, the final one is Blinkover. Big core patch, straight sets. Poor old core patch. Sad to see her go by the wayside, but never mind. Uh, let's go. On... in the world, by the way, Bouchard at the moment. Yeah. Um, getting a few. Well, she's having to qualify, but there's enough. Different... She like... doesn't play enough tennis. Well, this is. One of the negatives when you get a lot of your money from outside of uh, the tennis court, that's all. So, but just is what it is. Yeah, shout out to everyone in the live chat as well. Gene's very happy because, of course, Kel Contevi doing well, got to a yeah. final. Um, Edimator saying the indoor queen has been defeated. Certainly very good on the indoor hard courts. Other Definitely. players to watch is going to be Zverev when he comes back from injury. Hopefully we see a bit of tennis before the end of the year. Medvedev so. as another one. And I think like, the obvious selection is Djokovic. Let's not rule him out. Amazing. The big tonight. question marks are going to be on how does Alcaraz and Rude, currently world number one and two, I think Rude has slipped to number three after his loss the other day, pushing Rafa up into two. But regardless, the two top players on the, in terms of the rankings, Alcaraz and Rude, how are they going to fare in the indoor hard courts? Because it's probably not the surface they've had as much practice on. And I think it's going to be tricky for them to maintain their great form on this surface when the big hitters like a maybe a Hubi Hercat, <laughs> Alex Verev, Daniel Medvedev, they're going to come to the to the for, to the forefront. I think they're going to improve, and it's going to be difficult to take many titles off them. Definitely, and let's not uh, deviate too far away. We will talk about more about the men's in the next video, and. Um, Let's stick to the women's. And yep. we've got Iga Sviontek as our number one seed in this one. She's got a bye through the first round. And the next match is a real interesting one. We've got uh, Shuei Zhang against Tomjanovic. I mean, two great players. Uh, Zhang, 26 in the world. Tomjanovic, 34 in the world. And they've got quite an interesting head-to-head. -head. I think it's a bit back and forth. with uh, they mainly playing on clay courts. And they always seem to go to three sets by the looks of it. So these two, not sure who's going to win. Um, if I had to go just and pick off the top of my head, I'd probably go Tom Yanovich. Yep, me too. I feel like it's a little easier for me. I'm not going to uh, dabble on that one. Okay, we got McNally and Blinkova here. Two qualifiers meeting in the first round. Yeah, this is a tight one. Not Look sure which McNally. way it's going to go. Probably edging McNally. I'm going to go Hadid Meyer here to beat Mukova, Kontavit with a bye, uh, Martin Sova to beat Teichman. I don't know. This Hadid Meyer, you've, you've skipped part. I'm actually going to go Mukova to knock out Hadid Meyer for a big shock in the first round. Eh? Oh, I knew he would. Mukova, she's 224th in the world as well at the moment. So somebody who's coming back, I think we need to just uh, keep an eye on her. I feel that Hadid Meyer, she slipped up to Klaichikova in the last one could slip up again so moving down contavit with the buy as you said yeah um i've done martin sova to beat teichman Ooh. i'm gonna go and alex Androva to beat azarenka yep same cassad here to knock out radu Kanu. i'm sorry all the radu Kanu fans <laughs> wow i think cassad is just simply too good we've got neil michaels in saying emma's been impressive in career jg to be fair she has the better player. She was the best player against Ostapenko in the semi-final. Setting a break up. Looked very good for the final until the injury. Unfortunately, <sighs> you injury. summed it up lovely. Then the last sentence, too many of the injuries. Some people doubting whether she has injuries. It seems to be a different muscle group every single event. Um, and ultimately, I don't doubt a lot of the injuries probably are sincere ones. But it's a case of the fact she's not playing enough tennis. She's not tough enough on the tour. And until she really dedicates a full rate, a training regime to play in tennis, she's never going to win anything. Not going to win a single event. She can go down to the challenges. She's probably not even going to win there. She needs to play a lot more tennis and just a lot more training and work on physically building herself up. Well, is this going to run parallel with Yannick Sinner? Because yet another injury for him. I think it's level with Radu Kanu for injuries for Yannick Sinner in 2022. Uh, I think it's five. Seems played a lot longer, though. I know, but five and counting with injuries. Injuries he lost to, out to Holger Rune in that last one. So those two under the microscope. I will be going Kasat Kina. She is eleventh in the world for a reason. She's very, very good. So um, Ben Chich to beat Bouchard. I'm going to go with. I'm going Bouchard here. Bigged her up in the intro. I think she knocks out Belinda Ben Chich. 
Oh, I thought Benjic was one of your faves. Uh, right, moving down anyway. Klaichikova versus Shelby Rogers. You Just... should know by now, Ben. All the favourites do not win on a women's draw. It's never happened. No, it never not. will. Exactly. Had so a buy out. So far, I see a lot of favourites off from your one. Oh, had a buy went out, didn't she? What's the odds on that one? I don't know. I don't check I'd the odds. I'd love to know. I don't know, mate. Well, you're saying it with confidence that she's not yeah. the favourite. I didn't say favourite. She said she's the seeds, isn't it? It should be the favourite. I'm, I'm talking about just favourite, not, not seeds. Oh, okay. You're more of a betting man than me, so I don't really look into those uh, betting lines. No, I don't doubt that Helen Meyer must be the favourite, though. don't know. Why not be? It's Mukova. No, no, she's not. Level. Even. There you go. Yeah, so it's not, it's not, a, not an outsider. What's Ben Chich Bouchard one? Is it quite an outsider? It's got to be. Oh, three, I reckon. Yeah. Fours. Oh. There we go. That's good. So Let's that's move on. Rogers <laughs> <Rogers Kova. laughs> right. Off Rogers. I'll go. Ra, ra, ra. No, I'm not. I'm going Krajikova now because she won um, an event. I'm going to go Rogers. Parks Pliskova. Now, this is where I'm interested to see if Pliskova goes out of your bracket because Park, she's the young American. Is that right? Uh, I'm just going to check. I believe she her is. Age. She is, yeah. Well, not that young. 21 years old. Youngish. 135 uh, in the world. She has... i this one. No. She beat Freedsome. Yeah, I mean, Freedsome did well in the last oh. event. So... Yeah, I mean, I think we did get to see Parks at Wimbledon. I'm not sure if it was in the doubles. I think we've seen her before in singles. But we so. saw her doing something at Wimbledon, I figure. Yeah, or we've covered it. There's something about her. I mean, it's definitely something we spoke about on the podcast before. I think Pliskov going to have a little bit too much for her, though. Yeah, Sakri with the bye. Sasnovich and Ostapenko. I'll be going Ostapenko. Yeah. Rubikina Keys. I'll be going, hmm, that's a tough one. But I think I'm going to go Ribikina. I'm going to go Keys. Kvitova versus Pera. I, I would have thought, Kvitova's got a wild card into this event. Um, surprised that she needs a, it says a wild card on here, but I'm surprised she'd need a wild card. She's 20 in the world. Doesn't That sounds a bit strange. Maybe that's incorrect. I'll go yeah, Kvitova does, anyway. Does anyone know about that? What What the reason for that could be? Uh, I don't know. On there, but... No, I'll, I'll put her through it anyway. It doesn't say wild card on mine. Uh, I know, it doesn't say it on this, but it says it on Flash. That's what okay. I'm looking at. Interesting. Strange. Moving to the top anyway. Let's go back to the top. And we got Iga Sviantek against Ayatom <laughs> I mean, a great matchup. But we saw what happened last time they played. Iga battered her. I think it's yeah, going to be And Iga, you've got to remember now, is she going to be starting another one of these streaks? She's just won the US Open. How many matches is it, is it in a row for Eager right now, Ben? That's a good point, actually. I don't you have that know. information. I don't have that information to hand. I'm assuming it's up. only going to be just the US it? Open, isn't it? Well, no, she won Cincinnati before, right? Second, let me just ping this up. Yeah, she won Cincinnati before. Oh, it is... She didn't win Cincinnati because right, she no, lost one, in the final. One, two, three, three four, five, seven. Well, no, not go. in the final. She lost in the round of 16 to Keys. So she's just on a seven match win streak yeah. at the moment, just from the US Open. Yeah, last time earlier in the year, guys, it was 37 matches until she lost 30 to, to Elise Cornet. 37, right? Yep, I said yeah. 30 to go. Yeah, 30 to go <laughs> Cornet at Wimbledon. So if she can get, well, I think there's going to be another 30 matches to the end of the year, but she can roll it into next year if she wins the Australian Open or something. Mm, uh, why not? Let's see how she gets on on the indoor hard courts. I'm quite interested to see. She's obviously done very, very well. I'm not sure how she got on at this point last year. I'm just going to have a quick look just to see. Last year, she went out in the uh, third round. So I'm guessing that's quarterfinals, like the third match to Sarkali. Indian Wells, oh, obviously, that's not indoors. Um, yeah, that was the only match. That was the only tournament she played back end of last year. So don't have much to go off, really. Finals as well, which wasn't great. Yeah. Um, but exactly. anyway, let's get through these. I've got Hadjismeyer beating McNally. I've got Contevi beating Martin Sova. Cassid Keener yep. to beat Alex Androva. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go Rogers to beat Bouchard. I'm going to have Klaichikova to beat Benjic. I'm going to have Sarkari to beat Pliskova. I'm going to go Madison Keys to beat Ostapenko. 
And oh. Badoza to beat Kvitova. I think I'm going to have Ostapenko to beat Ribakina and then Badoza to beat Kvitova. Nice. <laughs> All right. So we've got Iga versus Mukova at the top. Um, I feel like she's got too much for Mukova. I don't think yep. that's a great I'm matchup. Have Iga beating Hadid Meyer. I'll go Kontavit to beat Kasadkina. Yeah, I'm going to have the same, sadly, for Kasadkina. I'll go Sarkovic to beat Rogers. Yeah, Sarkovic to beat Kajikova. I think and Badoza to beat Keys. And then oh, Stepenko to beat Badoza. Okay. Right. <laughs> right, so I've got the one and three at the top. It's just a regular bracket for me. Um, ugh. I think I'm going to go Kontovic to knock out Iga here, just because I feel that like Iga, uh, Iga maybe not as good on the indoor hard, and Kontovic looking quite good. Yeah, I think the same. I was going to have Kontovic knocking out Iga too. I'm going to put Kontovic into my final, and I think she's going to face Bedoza. I think she's going to face Sarkari. And what was the final last year? Kontovic Sarkari. So I'm going to have a repeat of the final. Oh, no, not again. Not last year. So there you go. Four. Yeah, I don't know. I really like Annette Kontovic this time of year. If she plays anything like she did last year, there's no reason why she doesn't win this again. And that's why I have her winning the whole thing, ultimately, and beating Badoja in the final. I'm going to have Sarkari winning the whole thing. And we all know what that means on GTL. Sarkari is going out first round. Well, John will be wanting that happening, I'm sure, because I'm sure. He's a big Sarkari fan. We've got Boban saying two finals in a row for Annette. Yeah, listen, I think why not? Why not? I think she can do it. Um, she did it early in the play, year. Listen, last year, I feel like she was just dominant. Earlier in so, this year, she won St. Petersburg. We've got to remember, uh, remember that. that. That was earlier this year. And then she went on in the next one. It was Doha. She lost in the final. So she did make two finals in a row earlier this year on hard court. So. Yeah. And plus, no, I know Jean will, Jean will be over the moon if Annette does it. So. Oh, Jean will be doing cartwheels in the garden. <laughs> that happens. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's move on to the next one anyway. This one, the Jasmine Open. It's in quickly, I'm going to give a dark horse for both of us. Oh, okay, go on then. Oh, if, unless you have one which you really like, the look of. Well, mine, I don't know how Sarkari could be a dark horse. That's not possible. No, it's right. not right. Um, out the way. In terms of dark horse, I'm Klai not Chikova. sure if there is one that really uh, shout, screams out to me. I love Clyde Chikova. There you go. Yeah, okay. I'll agree on that. Fine. Right. Monastir in Tunisia. Um, well, there's no tournaments played there before. So we're going to go in with a fresh. Are there any qualifiers that we need to know about in this one? Before that, Ben, I just want to say the magnitude of how important this is for a country like Tunisia. They've had Ons Jabur yeah. do great this, this year. I mean, what's she got to in the slam two finals? Slam. She got two, two slams. Two slam finals. She yeah. lost both of them. Yeah. Uh, but still, she's put the country on the map. She's put that side of the world on the map. Number two. And she is flying the flag for Tunisia right now. World number two, of course, the highest ever ranked player. First African into a Grand Slam final. Yep. And now we have tournaments there. We don't have many, do we? I can't think of any other tournaments in Africa. No. So amazing. Uh, is there any? Is this, uh, uh, there must be some stuff on Twitter. I mean, I'm sure we'll talk yeah. about on another episode. I'll have to find them and, and read them off because she is doing some great things and I think in a time in the world right now with so much conflict going on across the board, how great is it that people from a different part of the world get to see something which is a bit different to the norm and could be a future role model in Ons Jabeur. She carries herself so well. She's such a great tennis player. I'm just really pleased for everyone of Tunisia. And they've got their event. She is the number one seed. It would be special if she can win the whole thing now. That would be special. Is she definitely in the event? <laughs> That's what yeah, I was no, going to ask. Okay, brilliant. So I haven't checked. I haven't looked through the uh, the player listings for this event. That's all I'm, okay. why I'm saying. It. Well, I'll bring up the qualifiers. I don't suppose you got them either, do you? Well, they're not really my JG normal role. role. That's a JG role, that one, the qualifiers. Ooh, so... no, you're not missing out on much, I'll tell you that. So we've got... <laughs> Uh, Heather Watson lost to Stevanini in the last round today. There is one, though, which is really exciting and one we're going to have to talk about. Linda Fruvatova 
She managed to get Ooh. through the qualifying. She's 77 in the world right now. She beat Massa cool. over in three sets. And, well, she's been beating a lot of players recently. We've got Pod Orozco, they've got Cheva Peterson. Uh, she did lose to Muguruza. But, yeah, she's having a great year. Both of the Fruvitova sisters. I believe this is the older one of the two, is it, or the younger yep. one? Well, the younger one's been having an absolutely storming time as well. The younger one's Brenda, is it? Yeah, the younger one is Brenda. She's, I believe, either 14 or 15. Uh, and, uh, well, Linda 14 is... 14 or 15, surely. Yeah, yeah no. Linda's, Linda's 17. 17. Yeah, Linda's 17. And Brenda, I believe, no is... Uh, when we did the podcast on her earlier, remember I covered the match, and she was 14 in that match. And oh, I think she's been on a crazy 15 run. now. Yeah, she's been on a crazy run. She just recently just That's lost. Amazing. And she just won... Wow, I mean, one, two, three, four, five tournaments in a row in the ITF. Wow. 15 and 17, two sisters, and they're feared. I mean, I'm looking at it here, and she's the best qualifier, the one to watch the most. Both of them are class, and they're going to be they're going to be a staple part of the women's game for some for so many years. And yeah, definitely. I would actually like to see. Hopefully, she's got a nice draw. That's the only qualifier I really want to talk about. We've also got. Uh, Basel, I don't know much about Yuchiyama, Papa Michelle, Stefanini, and Anna Cunha, who's not in good form. All my eyes on the young chap. I mean, it's pretty yeah, incredible. I'm just, Brenda I'm just... was on a, like a 20 plus match winning streak. Well, it's even more, I think. I think I'm just looking at it now. I think it's 27 match win streak she was on. And put this into perspective in those 27 matches, she dropped two sets. <laughs> that's nuts i mean come on at 15 that is crazy amazing i mean well played to her i uh, can't wait to see what happens next in it, both of these girls careers so let's go into the draw though let's see where linda will be in the draw uh maybe in the future brenda will eventually get into one of these draws i won't be long if she keeps yeah. playing like that that's that's for sure yeah i think she could eclipse linda in I think terms so of as the well. Serena Williams and the uh, Venus Williams, the younger sister being the better of the two. It, I don't know. It just seems to happen a few times in siblings in sport. The younger one turns out to be the better sports pl uh, player. I'm and sure Murray. other people can think of other examples, but <laughs> is that Jamie Murray is he older? <laughs> if so, then uh, he's truly eclipsed him. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of examples. Right, let's get into the uh, into the draw proper. Ons Jabur is our number one seed. You were right. And she will be, well, she'll be playing Anne Lee uh, in the first round. Not the easiest of matches, but definitely a winnable one for Ons Jabur, yeah. I think. Right. So next up, we got Rodina. That was the uh, that was the girl who did pretty well in the US. Was it US Open? Yeah. I've been, that's right. Yeah. I'm going to have her win in this one. Yeah, me too. I'm going to go Cunha to beat Liu. I'm going to have Packet losing to Siniakova. Uh, yep. Fruvitova, I'm going to have beating Martic, the number four, four seed, which is a big Same. win if she can do it. I'll go Fantastic. Rakim over here. I'll go uh, Zhu to beat Pepper Michelle. Mertens to beat yep. Christian. Potapova to uh, beat the young Russian player Andreva. She's another one to watch. Mm -hmm. Let me just bring her up. I'm going to go Andreva. Yeah, she's good. 18 yeah. years old. She's just beaten. Um, uh, who did she beat to get through? Oh no, because I think she's got straight into the draw. She didn't even go through qualifying. So she played in Romania, I believe, before, and okay, she who beat she Masarova beat? six two six two. God, that's a big result. Incredible. When she wins, I mean... she wins comfortably. She's a eighteen year old player, and she's going to be top one hundred very soon. Well, I'm excited for her. Um, let's go down. We've got Basel's. I'm gonna have her beating Zadancic. I don't know if that's a weird one, but no, not for going. me. And then I'm gonna I'm go Harriet go. Dark to beat Diaz. I'm gonna go Elise Cornet yep. to beat Pigosi. Lynette yep. to beat Stefanini. Parry yep. to beat Zarenko. Yeah. Freck to beat Mansouri. And Kudamet to yeah. beat Glacheva. Sort of picks itself a bit this tournament. All you right, want to say that? Just... Same lines from Ben. It sort of does, though, doesn't it? I mean, oh, unless you're going to... All right, I will. Radina oh, listen, knocks out okay. Jabur. 
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna now battle what you said. So you say it picks itself. Every time you've said that, why do you not get a hundred percent right then? If it picks itself, you should get them all right every time. I can guarantee you, every time you've said it picks itself, we'll go back through the results, and it doesn't really pick itself because they're not all right. Well, so I'll let you go maybe, back through all of the archives. So, listen, I think maybe in your head it picks itself, but it, you know it doesn't really materialize like that. Sometimes you've got to go a bit wild, maybe. Oh, a Redina to beat an Onstra, but and it could happen. Not in Tunisia. Have it's a laugh. You've got to, you've got to Not go having for, that. You've got to live out your means a little bit sometimes. Go a bit wild outside the box. I don't fancy it for Jabir. You, you say out. it picks, you picks itself, but it never does pick itself. Otherwise, you'd otherwise you'd get you'd win some brackets. I've never seen you get top twenty yet. I've got Nakashima right. That's about the only one I got right recently. Not on the women's. No, the women's I always them. do pretty badly on. <laughs> I try to go a bit out there sometimes, but then that's when I fail and all the seeds win. So I need to just try and time it right, I think. Oh, apologies. I think I've got the wrong Andreva anyway. That is not the right one. Um, yeah, Erika Andreva, not Mira. Apologies. So I think there's maybe another oh. Andreva. Andreva, the one I'm talking about, is 15 years old. You're correct. Apologies, guys. You're right. Apologies. So Good spot. Pot, pot, pot I know at the through. moment I see the Eric, Eric <laughs> I got it wrong. Ben agreed anyway with me, but I, the yeah, no, I, I thought the Eric, it was the same one. Well. Yeah, I, I, thought thought exact, well. I thought it was that exact same one from before. Apologies. That's my bad. Never mind. We get things, things wrong here. That's a part of the GTL vibe. Uh, let's go. Ons Jabur, Siniakova. Yeah. You're, I thought you might go, couldn't you? I'm going to be having through Vitova. Uh, yeah, why not? And I'm actually going to have Zoo to knock out Mertens. Here he goes. I'm going to have Mertens. You always have Mertens, though. That's just your thing. Like You, you have Mertens no. going through a few rounds every time. That's right. I used to always have Mertens. When was the last time say... you got out early? This year, I've not. But the oh, year no, before, it was very... I was consistent. But this year, I've not put a five. I feel that there's a battle in your mind every time you see her name, and it just... You're, fighting you're, definitely, against... you're definitely right. They definitely used to be. <laughs> but I wouldn't say this year. <laughs> I've potted up over beating Bassels. Yep. I'll have Cornet beating Dart. This is where I'm going to go Dart to beat Cornet. You love a bit of Dart, though. We've got Parry to beat Lynette and Kudometeva to beat Fred. No, no, no. I'm having Lynette, mate. She's been in good form. Yeah, I'll go Parry. Kudometeva. <laughs> Back to the top. I'm going to go yeah. on to Bird to beat Siniakova. Yeah. Go on, Ons. I'm going to go through Vitova to beat Mertens. Why not? I think I'm going to have Zoo to beat through Vitova. Potapova, Corne. I'm going to go I'm Dart. Potipova. I need a big event from Dart. I'm going to have yeah. Kruda Metova beating Parry. I'm going to have Lynette here. Nice. Uh, that's it. So, Jabur Zoo, <laughs> that's my top two. I'm Jabur. going to go definitely to beat Fluvitova. And Lynette from the bottom. And it's a sad one. I'm going to have to go one and two. I think Kudometova didn't really want to, but I'm going to have to go for the one, two. I'm not sure if Dart beats Kudometova. So, oh, it kind of picks itself. Good, though. Uh, I think we're both going the same, to be fair, no matter what. So, yeah. on Stupur <laughs> wins in Tunisia. First of it in Tunisia, <laughs> on Stupur, number one seed. Not much competition at the top half. Someone from the bottom half, I think, could trouble her, who gets to the final. But then in a final match, with all the crowd behind her, it doesn't really feel like a 50-50 final. On Stupur is going to have that little bit extra. Had a fantastic year. It just feels like inevitable that she's going to win. I'll be shocked if she loses. I I'll really be, will. I'll be very sad if she However, win. listen, I'm going to rewind about a few months, two months maybe. Mm. Igor Savontek in Poland. Yeah, He said true. the same thing. I mean, there was nobody in that draw. And we thought it's impossible that Igor loses in Poland on the clay, her best surface, mm. and she lost. So... It can happen. That's the only thing I can really allude to, that the eager loss in Poland in Warsaw. If Ons Jabur loses here, it could be the same thing. This but is the first event in Tunisia, though. I mean, surely there's more riding on this and there's more. There's going to be so much support, I feel, for Ons Jabur. I feel that even though Eager does 
like she does brandish a lot of support when she goes to Poland. I feel that the support for Jabur is like tenfold in Tunisia. Uh, I don't know. That, that's just my personal opinion about the way I get the vibes that eager she's been that dominant people sort of just take it for granted a bit whereas they don't they never take it for granted with Ons Jabur yeah so anyway I'm just gonna give a shout out to Trishan Nado thank you for becoming a member really do appreciate Cheers, that brother. if you want to help support the channel please join the membership join the Patreon as well we've got some cool content lined up which we're going to be doing very soon on there so it really does help support the channel and keep us doing these great fun electric episodes um <laughs> electric well it is electric some of these picks i mean who would have thought ons jabur to win at one number one seed in tunisia very brave yeah. isn't it well we've really gone all out on this one i feel just, i mean i've even is... got number two in the final so <laughs> cool. but, um one thing i would say is in terms of dark horse my dark horse for this one is harriet dart i think mm. if there is someone to just throw a spanner in the works it is harriet She's had a good year, no, beating some good players in. this year. And if anyone could do something a bit special, it is the dart. We know she beat Radu Kanu and Leila Fernandez just before they got to the final of the US Open last year. So she can, beat, you can she keep can beat some big flooring players. that in. I don't think you can keep calling she, that Harriet off. Harriet Dart, she beat recently, I believe. I'll have Fruvitova as my dark horse just because I think she's ever improving. Like, there's only a matter of time before those girls have big tournament wins. So if you just keep on popping them in as a dark horse, it'll happen eventually. So that's my reasoning for that. Nice. But anyway, that's that one done. That up. So that is the women's draws. Make sure to enter your brackets. You've got about 10 hours or so. We're going to be covering as many matches as possible. I am a lot more free now for the next month, really. So the whole Ooh. of October. So not much planned in my calendar. So I've got Full attention for the tennis. There's going to be some big events on the men's and the women's. We'll be covering as much as possible. So make sure to stay on the channel, like and subscribe. And good luck in all your brackets, apart from Ben. Thanks, mate. <laughs> See you later. See you on the men's. See you. Bye.